Ready? How's your weekend treating you? How's your Friday coming along? Here at Jalango TV, we are live. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga Najalas. Bonga Najalas, Jalango TV, Kenya's fastest growing YouTube channel and Kenya's number one online TV. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for the support you've given Ngina. She's already done two stories that I need you to go on our YouTube channel and watch. Thank you so much for the amazing support that you've given uh, uh, Peter Weke on the job he's already done. But what can we do? And an afternoon like this cannot have or cannot end without having an amazing, amazing conversation with the most beautiful African melanin. <laughs> A dark chocolate, whichever color you decide to give Sebi, she is here with us. After every single question that you asked me and you requested that I bring Nimlete Sebi, she's here with us. And the first thing we always do is to sanitize. <laughs> sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> That's enough, jealous. That is enough. <laughs> enough, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Enough indeed. We are live from Miali, Kenya's best restaurant and the best place you can have some of the best meals in this town. Definitely. Yeah, they are cuckoo. Everybody seems to love uh, the cuckoo that uh, they offer. Their chicken is very, very nice. You can come and have Miali special or you can have uh, the wet fry or the deep fry, whichever one you love. But so many of my guests actually love their chicken. We are located in uh, Serenity Drive uh, in Lovington. So make sure that you come and make your way. Sebi, what's your favorite food, by the way? Chicken. And Chick ugali. Chicken and ugali. Yes. Wow. Team Yale, like we always do, make sure that you organize uh, Sebi's lunch. She'll be having chicken and uh, she will tell us if she loves it. Ama uh, Iko Namnagani. Wow. I don't even know where to begin this story. I really don't know. But the topic says, watch her or let the gas burn. Wow. Let the gas burn. Are you the brand ambassador to Progas? Currently, yes. Currently, yes. yes. Wow. So this is the 12 kg. Mm -hmm. Then we have the small one. Yes. Why should we be using Progas? Number one, mm -hmm. Progas is a local made. Loc locally made? Yes. It's locally done here, Progas? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's done here and mm -hmm. then um, it's efficient and reliable mm -hmm. and also affordable. And so affordable. It, yeah, it cut across the Kenyan market. The Kenyan market. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how did you learn this amazing, amazing deal? Um, that would be private, mm -hmm. but um, I knew about Progress right about two months ago. Two months ago? Yes. Uh -huh. And um, <coughs> that's when I visited the farm. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I wanted to associate with it so much, mm -hmm. and then everything else played wow. to my advantage. Yes. Yeah. There's this new Progress ad where you are dancing. Yeah. Lady, can you shake your waist? <laughs> Wow. So, so, so the advert opens. I don't know if you guys have watched it. The advert opens when you are just in the house, yes. chilling. Then straight up, mm -hmm. this guy delivers the gas, mm -hmm. and uh, there you are dancing. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I'm a good dancer. You, you are a good dancer. Oh yes, I am. I have never known that side of you. No, I am a very good dancer. The only good dancer I know <laughs> in your family is your sister. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a family of um, of, of uh, dancers. dancers and uh -huh. and jara. Mm -hmm. That's it. Raha number one. Yes. Dance number two. Number two. So raha and dancing comes in. And and music. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you just say that in this advert, all I have to do is to dance. Just wake me up anytime and give me a, a song. I'll dance to it. Wow. Yes. A dance as a dance. You know, I want to my viewers. A dance as a dance. Before she lives here, uh, Sebi has to really uh, dance for us so that uh, we can see her shake uh, what uh, mommy gave to her. And just, uh, I'm still looking for a way uh, to start this interview. If you people have realized that I, I'm lost of what I'm lost of what because I really need to know mm -hmm. who Sebi is. Who is mm -hmm. Sebi? 
That's a beautiful one. Now, let me tell people who Sebi is. My name is Elseba Awurkokeo, but famously known as Sebi Cox Nyasego. Okay. Your yeah. name is? Elseba Awurkokeo. Elseba Awurkokeo. Yes. I'm from a family of 24, mostly the last one. No, stop it. <laughs> you are from a family of? 24. 24. Siblings, yes. How many sisters? Eight sisters. Eight sisters. And? The rest are men. You, all of them are men? Yeah. One father? One father, two mothers. Oh, one father, two mothers. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So, um, I'm born and brought up in the village. I went to St. Albert's Girls, Ulanda. Ulanda Girls. Yes, uh -huh. where I sat for my KCSE. Then I joined Moy University for my undergrad. Uh -huh. And I did um, Bachelor of Science in Communication and PR. Uh -huh. After that, I joined Governor Press Unit in Migori County. Okay. Yeah, where I worked as a PR practitioner for mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. Then I felt the urge to pursue my graduate degree. Mm -hmm. So I came to Nairobi in 2016. 2016? Yes. Was that your first time coming to Nairobi? Not my first time, but okay. first time living in Nairobi. Mm. So that's where I joined USIU to do my master's in international relations. Mm -hmm and diplomacy. I graduated last year. Oh, last year. It was a huge graduation. It was big. It was, it was everything that everybody wanted. Yes, mm -hmm. and I hope I'm graduating on the 10th of November. Wow. My first degree. <laughs> Community development. Karibu. <laughs> so, what will you tell us? What will you tell us when uh, the 10th of November came? So, you graduated <clears throat> from USIU. Yes. Okay. Then uh, after that, um, currently I am the founder and CEO of Virtual 21. Which Virtual is a, 21? Yeah, which is a PR company and mm -hmm. agency. That is something I've always dreamt of. Mm -hmm. And I would say that the fame that I uh, was brought up as, uh, through my sibling mm -hmm. is like a, it's a serendipitous kind of yes, thing. Yes, yes. You know? what? It's, 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 a, it's an advantage yes, to me in the sense that it give, gave me a platform to showcase my skills mm -hmm. and to package myself mm -hmm. in order to achieve the dream I had for Virtual 21 All company. Right. Yeah. Wow. So let me ask you, mm -hmm. were it not for your sister, mm -hmm. would have we known who Sebi is? Um, number one, I want to give credit to her mm -hmm. that she made it quite easy. Because um, through her, I've mm. used a few of the key of, that she gave me to open doors. Mm. So I may not say that without her, I wouldn't be Sebi, mm. but I would say that it's her energy or her existence that has catapulted me to that level. Wow. So quick. Yeah. 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 So Sebi would have still been Sebi, mm -hmm. but uh, because you are a Kodes sister, mm -hmm. It went so fast, yes. and you're grateful about it. In fact, I wasn't even prepared for the fame, to be honest. Um, the fame, I was baptized by fire in 2017. Okay. Yes. All this right. the, the current one is not even cyberbullying. The first <laughs> one was crazy because it was my first time. I am getting a lot of, you know, a lot of attention for apparently nothing. You know, just being a brother's sister. What, and what had happened on that time? Akode had posted my picture and said, my younger sister. Just saying, my younger sister. Yes. And all the blogs were on my neck. Meet Akode's younger sister. Meet Kaveshias. I'm not Kaveshias. I don't even know where they got that. <laughs> what, 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 what do you meet mean, not Kaveshias? <laughs> meet all these, meet Akode's younger sister. So there's a misconception that people do not know. We are not only two. It's a family of 24. Wow. Yeah. So this came at a point where I was in Nairobi and everybody thought, oh, Kumbi Akode has a younger sister. Now that is the time everybody was, start, people started following me very closely. Mm. And um, I, 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 I somehow lost it during that time when I was being trolled because I was like, I don't know you. I don't, I don't owe you anything. So why are you coming at me at this time? I mean, Akode is... Your property, I want to respect that she's in the public. But you see, I am Sebi. Why are you guys trolling me? But then I sat down and looked at it. I said, Jalas, what can you do if someone gives you a stone and now you build a house with it? Yes. I was thrown into the pool. I swam. So let me ask you, yeah. what is this worst thing 
somebody told you or said about you at that time? Um, I think because I was young, so misconception used to uh, completely put me off. Like when someone say, oh, she's not even pretty, you know, she is black, you know, it's not even dark. She is black, she's not pretty, she can't even express herself in English, she is all this. I was like, come on, I am your boyfriend's favorite. And that is where the phrase came from. Your boyfriend's favorite? Yes. This is why I was saying this. Jesus. You keep on saying that I am ugly. You, you keep on saying that I am ugly. And I am so certain, jealous. this is not being cocky, by the way. I am so certain that as much as you insult me that I am ugly, someone somewhere finds me very beautiful. So that was the it. Number one, before somebody else finds you beautiful somewhere, are you beautiful? Very beautiful. Jesus <laughs> So uh, 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 now you know you know <laughs> you know you cannot confirm that before Team Jalas themselves confirm. People, I just want you to tell me, eh? is Sebi beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> ah, is Sebi beautiful? Is Sebi beautiful? I can see Mziki El Alamke is a Sebi's English is too deep. The last Otawizana Kweli. He Kelly Nyasha Nasema, your boyfriend's favorite. Stanley Nyakoche Anasema, boom. Anasema, Ikali Sana. Marsh Bisma Kanasema, I'm watching. Wow. Anasema, Sebi English is too deep. Eh, why? She is on fire. Yes, she is. Very pretty. Woo, baby. This thing is going to blow up. Look at what is happening. Look at what it look at what is very beautiful Hey Jesus All right okay okay mm -hmm. we confirm you are beautiful mm -hmm. you are beautiful So people said Sebi is not beautiful Yes and she's dark Yes and uh, she can't even express herself Yes What would you like people to know you with Number 1 I'm authentic I I don't want to force anyone to imagine that I can express myself or that I am pretty. No, I am authentic and I am living my life because I have the right to choose what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whether I am no, whether I am not pretty or whether I'm not uh, I cannot express myself in English does not really matter. What matters at this point is am I living my purpose? So I want people to understand that I am literally living my purpose and I am just an ordinary girl next door. Born and bred, I mean, born and bred from the village with just, with parents. And by the way, this I have to put clear. People think that I live a very lavish life. I want them to understand this. I do not live a lavish life. It is your own perspective. That whenever you see someone take a good picture, they are living a good life. Jalas, do you take a picture when you look funny? Uh, I cannot even take a picture when I'm eating mboga. That's it. Yeah, everybody wants to associate with something <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I am just an ordinary girl. Like most of the girls, most of my peers, mm. I am trying to build my company just like any other girl because we know very well there's no the economy is not providing jobs for the learned or for mm. the youth. So what I'm trying to do is to carve my own niche and get to where I can be to sustain my life. Are you a slave queen? Um... Because I wanted you slay. To, yes. No, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, define what slay queen is. Define for which us I so know that will, most of us do not understand. Which I know will rub people the wrong way. Mm -hmm. This is the truth. That word slay queen is used by people who definitely have some self-esteem issues. In the context that, why do I think... No, 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 just a minute. Everybody is born for a purpose. Jealous, anybody you meet in the world has something you must learn from. You, nobody enjoys the monopoly of everything. So whenever you see someone does their things, why are you labeling them? Why are you labeling them? Slay queen was a, a good thing to say, someone is looking good or they are slaying. Then what happened is they flipped the coin to say that slay queen is a woman who is blonde, who, only, who has nothing between their brains, who can only take pictures for nothing. Let me ask you, do you think there is anybody in the world who is useless? No, nobody's useless. Everybody you. has a purpose. Thank you. Even so, the, 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 the even a stupid person even has a also mad been person. used as an example. Exactly. Mm. So I honestly think that Slay Queen is the most 
misused word and imposed on people just because I can't beat you, mm -hmm. I can't beat you, mm -hmm. or I can't match your level. So what I will do is, you see the way drunkard say, Kwenda uko. Mm -hmm. That is the word, slakewin. Just because I've seen you dress well, or probably you, you, you're living your life and you're doing well. So I wouldn't mind to be called a slay queen. But this is the, the catch. Am I living a purpose? Am I having my things together? Do I have the, 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 the compass? Do I have the true north of my value and beliefs in life? <laughs> Goja, do I have the north? Do I have the compass? Do I have... Your English will kill me. You know... You... Hey! Say my English correct up a comment. Say my English correct. English correct. I'm just waiting for your uh, for your comment. E English it at Malaysia Jamali. So 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 hey yeah, I'm just like, where do I even start from? Your English is really nice. Where did you learn all this? Because you can't tell me at Ulanda girls where uh, it's just like Nyangoma Boys High School, where I went to school. It's almost the same. We are villagers. You cannot tell me that you can factor matrosis, your mitosis do chromosomes to form daughter chromatids. Jealous, you cannot underrate Ulanda girls. But I must appreciate something. Okay. I read a lot. Uh, this is a trait that I developed after um, high school you can never find me without a book. So what I do with that is, number one, I learn my ways through, because I also met English in school. I mean, I'm brought up in the village, so it's not something that I, I can say that I enjoy the monopoly of accent or of English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read a lot. And every day, I must have a book. Wow. That probably explains my deep English. Um, accent, I think I'll get on the way. Mbele mbele. Yes. Sa hizi bado uko kwa e accent ya migori. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All said and done, Sebi. Mm -hmm. Definitely, this interview could have not had happened mm -hmm. were it not for the events of the past few weeks that came to be. Mm -hmm. On your most beautiful, beautiful day. Mm -hmm. A day maybe every single girl waits for or every single woman waits for. Mm -hmm. And definitely every single man waits for. Mm -hmm. Boom. You are proposed to. Mm -hmm. Why did your proposal look like it was so pre-planned? Were you aware about it? Did you know that your uh, fiancé would propose? Because it looked really uh, uh, orchestrated. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Jalas. People are not stupid. There's a lot of information in the world mm -hmm. that we get access to. Mm -hmm. So um, whenever you see someone, especially an influencer or a brand ambassador, mm -hmm. when something happens at the set or at the scene where they work, mm -hmm. mostly it comes out as pre-planned. Mm -hmm. For example, the gas. The gas was just in the boot? Yes. Did Second. you use that to advertise the gas? No. no. Did your boyfriend know that you were, you were part of this gas? He knew I am part of the gas. But you see, look at it in, in our culture. We say a woman goes to cook. A woman goes to cook. Okay, right? no, no, let, let, let me ask you. Yes. Why was the gas very significant? I don't think the gas was very significant. Hey, it was. Was so it? it? In a manner likely to suggest that it was almost an advertisement than a proposal. When I asked him eh. about the gas, he said two things. Pro for proposal and gas to rekindle our love whenever things go wrong. So, so this is pro? Yes. This is... Pro gas. So pro was for proposal. Uh -huh. the then the gas to rekindle the love whenever. So 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 on. the pro is for the proposal people. Yes. Gas is to light up the love as it goes. Yes. Jesus Christ, son of a carpenter. <laughs> hey. That is what he said. So that's what happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Idi katedo." You are in katedo. Yeah. Yes, in in law, you cook. say you are going to cook. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. That's why he brought the gas on board. Okay. It was not planned. I what about the it. whole Jada thing, Nini, and you'd been advertising Jada again and again, so it looked very artificial. The thing here is, I am the brand ambassador of both Connected Pits, mm. Coffee, and uh, um, Jada. The same day, they were coming together as a partner. So I think um, he found an opportunity where I was with my friends or a few people or my corporate family, let me say so. Mm -hmm. That is the time he came on board with it. Okay. Yes.
So boom, the proposal happened. Yes, and wow. I still don't. I, I don't. I don't mind when people say it was uh, planned. Mm -hmm. There's no problem. The only thing we cannot plan is how we are going to die, right? That's true. Yeah, but we, you can plan everything else. Uh, any other thing you can plan. You can plan. So there is no problem. Mm -hmm. You think it was a plan? It was pre-planned or not? You are right. There's no problem. Just keep it. We don't mind. <laughs> Life goes <laughs> on. <laughs> wow. Then after that day, mm -hmm. boom, everything just went south. Must have been one of your hardest, most bittersweet. We call it bittersweet. It is sweet things happening and the bitterness also checking in. Jalas, Talk to us. Jalas, I am, I'll tell you for free. That was not one of the worst things that happened to me in life, by the way. I know so many people reach out, so many people were worried, but it's not. I'll tell you, even my family, they were like, Sebi will handle that. You know why? There are so many things that happen to people in life like, it, it cannot beat whenever I want to tell you you're a prostitute. What, what am I going to get from you when I say you're a prostitute? You continue to be who you are, right? Yes. We like, if I say jealous, you are James. Are you James? No, no, no I'm, uh, I'm jealous. You're jealous. So I honestly don't think, it was just overwhelming that, you know, now I was involving someone I really care for. Mm. And uh, he was coming to the public domain, something that he's not used to. So that is the only thing problem I had but all the noise everything I mean if you're saying I am Betty and I am Sebi you know or if you're saying I am Beryl and I am Sebi I don't mind you can keep your opinion so um, after that I had 5.6 million people visiting my account 5.6 million Udaku itawawawa Kenya Udaku Kifuyenyu ni Udaku Until now I cannot even match the I cannot read all the inbox the inboxes I have I have two types the good ones and the worst ones and this is what I say about the worst ones you know what I love you so much you just met me on social media you do not know me so until you're in my shoe or you've walked the path with me then you are able to tell who Sebi is however for now you're just telling who Sebi is from what you've had and there is something that I tell people every day jealous that However much you've read, it does not mean that, it does not matter where you've read it. The thing here is, is it true? Okay? And with the technology right now, you cannot even substantiate what is true or what is false. Oh yes, I'm not going to defend anything. You know what? You want to believe me or you want to believe what you've read? You have the right of choice. So I'm not going to tell you that, oh, please don't believe this, don't believe this. You judge me. Judge me, yes. And I say that when you are scared of being judged, you are scared of reaching your potential. You know how? You will be scared of making mistakes. You will be scared of learning from your mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, how do you learn? Wow. So I think, I think imperfection is a badge that everybody else is going to go with to the grave. So therefore, um, all the mistakes I've done in life, in one way or another, we are, we are, we've all done our mistakes. Look at the 10... Ten commandments in the Bible. How many have you not done? See, maybe do not kill only. Mm. That is the only one to, to complete the 360. At least I know you've not no, killed. No. I don't know if you've killed. I'm not a thief. <laughs> I'm not a thief. So, I've never converted so, somebody's wife. So, so, I'm saved. So I think imperfection is something that we need to live with. Mm. And as the youth, what we need to measure mostly on is um, be authentic and be genuine with yourself. Mm. Yeah, it's all yeah, about I can remember. Else. I can remember even when our story about the boys club came yeah, in, yeah. when our our uh, chats were leaked out. Everybody judged us and everybody said everything. Mm -hmm. But I had one of my friends who were not used to all this. His name is Connell, eh? mm -hmm. and his video was a video was out there yes. of somebody who was not even him. That's you true. know, was not even him. I know. Do you know? If it was not us, you know, we took Connell. Connell almost committed suicide. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, I know. A, Connell took a rope. Do you know Connell took a rope and Connell wanted to Jealous. That is obsolete what social himself. Media do. That's what social media do. What you need to tell Colin, Col Connell, 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 what you need to tell Connell and other people watching Can you this. That video was from Ghana. I know. The video was fake, of course. But, but it, do you know everybody believed it was Connizzi? That's what I'm telling you, Jalas. Let people judge. And he did not even know how to deal with the, such things. Judge. So who is, if Jesus Christ was judged, mm. yeah? Who are you condemned, not to be judged? Who is Connell not to be judged? <laughs> Let people judge you. No, until today, he's still not even used to. Can you imagine? I, I'm sorry, but Connell also has to, 
Connell and other people, Do you know including Connell is even locked in his house as we speak right now. <laughs> he has never left his house. Jealous. I'm not lying. He has never left his house. Jealous. People need to know that there is every everything you do in life has some hazard kind of. So if you're on social media, that is what we call occupational hazard. Personally, mm. Mm. my occupational hazard as we speak mm. is cyberbullying. It will not stop today. Wow. It will not stop today. And I am living with it. And I am, it's not thick skin per se. The way people say, oh, have a thick skin, have a thick skin. We are all built on emotions. At some point, you have your breaking point. But what you need to know is, is it worth? That's it. Is it worth? Is your occupational hazard worth your time, your value? Are you living your dream? So if you're going to troll me, what I will do is, I will let you troll me because I do not know where you're coming from. You do not know where I'm coming from. To mekutana to. But this thing uh, surely hurt you so much eh? mm -hmm. that uh, for a long time you're not even allowing people to comment on your status. I will tell you why I was not allowing people to comment on my status. Mm -hmm. I deactivated my comment section because I don't want to give you room to hurt me. You can hurt me in Kilimani Mams or wherever you want to go, but not on my space. I get the control of what I want to consume. So you get yourself everywhere, by the way. That is why I deactivated my soap. Not that I was hurting, because that, that is the period that I experienced the most, as in everybody who loved me reached out. And um, I mean, if we, always, if we can always uh, interact in that manner that people reach out when someone is low mm. or when, that you love people when they are low, the world would be good, rather than us just always there to, bog, to box people around. This, this is... This is a, a, a question that I don't even know how to ask you mm -hmm. because uh, uh, you've just introduced your man or your man has just introduced himself uh, to everyone. Mm -hmm. Then is somebody nobody knows. Mm -hmm. He has his career out there as a lawyer or mm -hmm. advocate. Mm -mm. You got it wrong. So, <laughs> so this Mambo, a city advocate, city lawyer, what happened? Oh, uh, this is a delivery for me from Jada, eh? Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So we can have it here. Yes. Thank <laughs> wow. you. How does it feel to have both of your brands like this I, I on the good. biggest online show? I think I feel good, jealous. Mm. I know you as a person who is compassionate and who is always trying to build people. Yes. I honestly think I'm privileged to be on this platform. Mm -hmm. It's something that I didn't see coming. coming. Okay. No, all that. Forget about not seeing <laughs> this coming. It's here. It's happening. Okay. So you've just introduced your... Your man, or he, he has just introduced himself to the public. Mm -hmm. Then all things are happening, mm -hmm. and everything that was supposed to be an amazing, amazing day, yes. coming down crumbling. Yes. Everybody, everywhere is saying what they think they know about you. Yes. Everybody has a story. Yes. Everybody has the truth, the lies, yes. all put together. Because mm -hmm. I was speaking about the truth myself. Yeah. Other people are speaking lies. Yes. Other people are speaking the truth. Other people are speaking. Uh, Speaking the lie. Yeah. How did it? How did it take it? Well, uh, at the beginning it was crazy. Then I think your last letter is not in direct um, underrated education. Once you are learned, you'll get to look at things from a different angle. So number one, he was treating us as a normal cyberbullying. Number two, he says that he expected it because I'm on the public domain there. This is very kawaida for a young girl who is out there, who is trying to build her, herself. Because they, there's a perception that when a woman is out there, she's sexually available to men around her. So they will give you all the manner, all the men around you will always come at, oh, she slept with this, oh, she did this, oh, she did. So absolutely, a lot of lies came in until now he said, you know what, you can keep your truth. I am tired of it because... The lies were completely ninety nine percent. So how so, would you even address ninety nine percent? I mean, it is the very sad. Yeah. So 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 tell me, mm -hmm. did he stay put? Is he okay? Are you guys in a good place? Me as your brother, do I start looking for another man immediately to take you from the house? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the last we are compact. Nothing was shaken. Nothing was taken away from us, apart from uh, his privacy, probably. Privacy. Yeah, because personally, I, I am a celebrity in my own right. I am the public domain as compared to him. So the only thing that was he was robbed from is his, his privacy. privacy. Yeah. Mm. The rest, nothing. No, I've just said uh, advocate, lawyer, and uh, you've just said you got it wrong. 
Yeah. So he's not a city lawyer, he's no, not no, a city no. advocate, he's not? He's a city doctor. Yeah, he's a doctor? Yes. So there are people are saying, uh, was it, is it me who's got it wrong or, or people got it right? City doctor. City doctor. Wow. Yeah. So he's a doctor. He's a doctor by profession. Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery. Yes. And you, you are an international relationship uh, scholar. Scholar. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> wow. As we talk about cyberbullying or what has become of our society, there's a story that is trending that is very, very, very sad. The story of a dream that uh, everybody loved and a dream that we did not see would come down crumbling the way it does. We are not in his space to understand what he is going through. But I'm talking about a story <coughs> of my friend, my brother, Daniel Adongo. Daniel Adongo was the epitome of greatness and the best of athletics export that this country has ever had as one of the first Africans to play the American football. As we speak today, the day he was signing for Minneapolis Colt, he was at 200 million Kenya shillings contract. 200 million Kenya shillings contract. As we speak, Adongo, as everybody is saying, and what we've seen on social media, Adongo is homeless. Got himself into drugs, and we can actually see him smoking weed and everything in the videos that are going on and everybody is concerned i really would like to take this opportunity to to just to just reflect back you as a person on the people you hang around with and the people you talk to and somebody said that uh, this was a case of the people he met on his way to stardom these are the people who he related with during his time as a star and uh, if you see the photo of Adongo then and his photo now, as you can see it now in, the, in your screens, it is one of the most saddest story that I don't even know how to say. Very, very sad. And just like <laughs> Steve O's Simple Boy said once, Vijana tuache miadarati. I don't know whatever space he is in right now. God, may you just... Shine your way so that Adongo can find his pace and go back to do what he loves doing. Another very sad story that is happening as we speak right now is the story of Patrick Njogu. Patrick Njogu. Patrick Njogu is, is the president's lookalike. Is the president's lookalike. So th this guy looks like the president. All right. And I like what Gidi Gidi said, that this guy was probably just living his normal life. Did not care, you understand? He did not care whether he looked like the president or he did not look like the president. And uh, kaboom, every single person now <coughs> wants to come his way. Like we always say, this is almost a deja vu. What is a deja vu? A deja vu is something that you've seen happening then Again, you can see the same thing almost. Did I get it right? Yeah. <laughs> it is almost something coming back from something you've seen happen and it's happening again. Mm -hmm. That is what, how sad this story is. Now, the story of this amazing man who lives in Moja, living his private life, his life that he just wants to go on, does not even care. Now, I've seen guys uh, who have started using him now. Oh, there's land here to be given. There's a tours travel that wants to take him to the Mara. Mm -hmm. There's this company that wants to give him a car. There's I don't know what and what. This whole story is the same story about Gedheri Man. And when I wrote a story about Gedheri Man on my post, everybody said, Oh, Jalas, Jalas unaskilia Gedheri Man uivu. Mimi, Jalas, nianze kuskilia Gedheri Man uivu. Why? I just said, you know what? Do not use people as commodity. Right now, you want to use Patrick, this guy who looks like the president, as your bait for people to know you. 
You want to take him to, I don't know where, so that people can know that it is you who took him. You want to give him land because it's you who took him. You want to give him a car so that people can know that he's done. Is he ready for these things? Is he in a space? Have you changed his life? If you really want to help this guy, please go out there and genuinely help him, not use him as a commodity. Social media, we have to learn. As we speak right now, nobody even cares where the Gaveri man is. And soon and very soon, you will not care where this guy is. Be honest to yourself. Be very honest to yourself. I'll say something, Jealous. Please say something, Sibi. Um, about Patrick. Human beings are very diabolic, by the way. One, right now, they are celebrating and, um, and, and looking for him and giving him all those manner of things. When, when the rubber meets the bullet, I mean, when the rubber meets the tarmac, nobody will come for his, uh, for his rescue. So what happens is you go into depression because you are robbed. It's like you are robbed your clothes. Because one minute everybody's clothing you right now they are clothing him they are they are giving, they're him, giving cars, him everything they're doing all this and then at the end of the day once they've satisfied their need that's why i'm saying human beings are diabolic by the way once they've satisfied their need they back off they let you walk so as this guy walk his journey he doesn't know where jalas is anymore he doesn't see sebi anymore and he runs into depression by the way media will kill so many people because they are so quick to build, they are so quick to associate with you, but they're never there to walk the journey with you. So I think it, it's very wrong for people to use the, the guys or to actually push people into the water, but you do not want to see whether they're drowning or where they, they got the help. I don't know. I don't know what you people think, but uh, you can also just comment on about what you think yeah. and what has been happening about this guy who looks uh, like uh, the president. The president look alike. So Sebi, let me ask you, mm -hmm. what is the way forward in all this? Um, my way forward is to build my company, that is the Virtual 21 PR, and to make it more uh, reputable and grow bigger. I am happy to be an employer at this point, and I'm looking forward to employ even more. And um, uh, on my social life, I'm very private. That's why this one was... You, uh, private? I'm very private in terms of social life. Oh, social last, life. Yes, social life. So the rest I may not uh, put out there. Mm -hmm. It will come, I know. Media is hard on people they've covered before, especially mm -hmm. people like me. Even my wedding or any plans, or even today if I fall out there, people will pick it. Mm -hmm. So that will come at the right time. Do I have an invite to your wedding? Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> or will I be the MC? You will be the MC and, 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 and a brother and everything. Yes. Yeah, so I am looking forward to build myself. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I'm enrolling for my PhD, hopefully, for um, um, before the year ends, I will be on the journey. Do you have a that. master's? I do have a master's in international relations. So you are enrolling for? PhD. Yeah. And I'm here just graduating my undergrad and Ninduru Watu Awalali Sebi. Watu Awalali and you're here enrolling for your PhD. Yeah, so that I can also add value or meaning to humanity mm -hmm. after that. Wow. Yeah. Tell us something about Jada, this company that you work. I'm the brand ambassador of Jada. Jada is a logistic company. We do door to door delivery, we do corporate uh, delivery and even um, we have a uh, a package for people, uh, for the law. You don't call them my learned friends because I'm not learned as them. Um, uh, we, we do uh, uh, land registrar. We have people who are licensed who mm. can actually do also the processing. Also, you do the complete logistics. Yes. Whatever complete you want to just go to JADA. Yes, for JADA. Even if you want to, uh, for search, land search La and all land those, search and our people are actually licensed to mm. do that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is for the JADA. Wow. If you are to meet your sister today, mm -hmm. with everything that has happened, mm -hmm. what will you tell Akode today? You know, my love for Akode is crazy. By the way, I love Akode so much. She's more of my mother, and I grew up under How her is? care. So I think there's nothing that can shake the bond between us. Not if, maybe death could probably, if she, lost, if she lose me today or I lose her, that would shake the bond because I know I shall have lost her. But anything else, I think is secondary to our bond and our friendship and uh, our relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, she's someone I look up to. She's someone I can defend from here to wherever with every, every drop of my blood. 
I love her so much and respect her. So the rest of anyone else thinking they can come in between us, I think I'll say pole for you. So nothing can come between you? Nothing. Wow. Yeah. This is closed down if on this camera. What would you like to tell the people out here? What would you like people to know and as we just close down? Um, I would speak to the youth, um, especially peers or young girls specifically. Uh, make sure you're living your life and make sure nobody is robbing you your peace. Do not be afraid to put yourself out there because they say whenever you, put, whenever you show the world your talent, you will receive a lot of resentment. You will receive a lot of re people rebelling and people insulting you. Just know it's the way to your success. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to be called names. And to the gentlemen, I think, leave your purpose. Social media is an oblivion. Do not, do not uh, immerse in it and get lost. Wow. Yeah. She is back like she never left. She is back like she never left. Two weeks of tribulations and two weeks of trolls and everything. Sebi is here and Sebi is here to make sure that you can feel her presence. She is currently the brand ambassador of Jada, who are a logistic company and definitely pro-gas. Remember the word pro-gas. Pro is for proposal and gas to go and rekindle love wherever it goes. She's told us everything that maybe all of you wanted to hear. You can troll her all you want, but your opinion actually is your opinion. Like we always say, opinion is like a bad teeth, a bad tooth. Everybody has one. So if you have an opinion about her, that is you. But here it's about good vibes and moving forward each and every single day. Him and the fiancé are in a good place ever. As much as the fiancé was shaken with all this social media trolls and everything. We just need to go into straight up a small quick fire for uh, Sebi. There's a show and uh, Masawuti is performing and Utile is performing in two different shows. Which one will you go for? God, I don't know any song by Masawuti. I'm sorry. You don't know any song by Masawuti? So you'll go for Tile's event? Maybe. Though I listen do to you know, one do, like do you know a song called <laughs> Ipe Pete Ipe Pete? Oh, okay. I, I've heard that song. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so Vera is selling uh, weaves. Eh? Okay. And Uda is selling weaves. Mm -hmm. They have shops. Mm -hmm. Which one will you walk into and buy your weaves from? Both. Mm. I think I like No, them. no, we just want. We just want one. Mm. God. That's a difficult one. You love both of them? I like both of them. <laughs> I think they've lived their life. I have nothing to, to, to juxtapose hey. in terms of who is who. I mean, yeah. So you can't really I, I, juxtapose I would, them? I would, yeah, I would definitely have Vera's weave and have Huda's weave. I mean, <laughs> as long as I am supporting their hustle. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Wow. Yes. What is this one thing you cannot leave the house without? Um, my phone. Your phone? Yes, because that's, that's my office. Literally. Your phone is actually your office? Yes. Wow. Which is the most expensive shoes you've ever worn? God. Calvin Klein. I was bought for by a cover. Mm -hmm. Calvin yeah. Klein? Yes. How much was it? Around about 26000 26000 Kwamgu? Yes. Which is the most expensive holiday you've ever gone for? I don't like traveling, so holidays may not be something for me. Wow. I think um, I, I love it subtle. If, mm. you, if I can drive myself to the village and see my papa, that is a holiday for me. Wow. I don't like flights. Mm -hmm. I don't like roads. Mm -hmm. So I have not been to so many holidays. Which is your dream destination? Santorin. That, uh, that uh, after, <laughs> let's, say, let's say, during your honeymoon, where you'd like the city doctor to take you to? The last I love Santorin and Maldives, but the problem is I don't know how to get there. If I can walk there, I'll be happy. <coughs> I don't like flights. You'll have to go to Greece to go to Santorin. Actually, Santorin is in Greece. That's the problem. That is almost like 15 hours from here. So I'll, I'll walk home, I think. And there's only one way to get there. Okay. Trippy go to us. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. You've been asking and hanging out with the beautiful Sebi here. And uh, definitely she told us her real names. El Seba Awur Kokeo. Kokeo. But all of you know her as Sebi. Amazing, amazing conversation. And uh, she's back like she never left. And uh, all we can do is wish you well. From okay. Team Jalas and everyone, this is an opportunity for you to go out there mm -hmm. and uh, have the best of all you can do. Thank, Thank you so much for sharing this space with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Already dressed up with the amazing divine collections. As you can see, it's Friday. I was pulling all this old black. Everybody thinks that divine collection is about suits and shirts. Definitely, they have t-shirts. They have this Friday look. There's the weekend look. Definitely, the weekend in Mombasa tomorrow will just be... <laughs> Everything that any other person would ever love to do. And definitely, as uh, El Seba here says that you'd like to travel the, uh, the world, there's only one place and how to go. Trippy Go to us. Thank you so much for the amazing offers that you guys are having for weekend getaways. If you don't have a weekend plan, go on to Trippy Go page and check what we really have. Amazing, amazing. As low as 5,000, you can leave Nairobi and go and have a good time. And uh, as you speak, Sebi say, say here being a celebrity that most of you love over 4,000, 5,000 people watching concurrently. Definitely, you might want a shout out from her one of these days, or a shout out from me, or a shout out from Betty, Mulamoa, Nani, Nani. All of these celebrities are on one platform called Mbogi. Mbogi gives you a chance uh -huh. for you to book a personalized video from your celebrity. Let's watch this video and book your shout out from your favorite celebrity. Hi Maureen, how are you? Your boyfriend uh, loves you so, so much. I just want to say congratulations to www.house.com And I'm here to wish you a happy anniversary. And I'm just here to encourage you. I've done 20 years. Now you have a boyfriend who loves you so, so much. Happy birthday to you. And she says just be strong, the business will pick up and everything will be okay. Wow! Poto, it's your boy, your guy, the top of go being the only man who's been arrested for dressing to kill. DJ Love Cut he mix here for Nitamu. And as you book your beautiful, beautiful shout out from your favorite celebrities, can you imagine Jalal singing for your girlfriend, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Do you know how to sing, Sebi? No, I can't sing. Oh, you only dance? I can only dance. Oh, you can only dance. Yes. Ah, very good. That only happens at Mbogi.co. Wow. For your weekend cool look or weekday cool look, there's only one place to go. NTB Wear. Ntabo Wear. Amazing, amazing look out here. Please check them out. NTB Wear on every single social media handle and order your own. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga Najalas. Thank you so much for making time to be with us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sanitize. Yeah. So, to kulize igas unaniwachia apa? Ama, siwe ni brand ambassador wa mekupatia yako ingine? 